Hey, it's JC here. JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6 7 West Central Avenue. It's Toledo, Ohio, 43617 419 531 60997. Instagram at JC's Comics and More, www.jccomicsmore.com, JC's Comics More at Hotmail.com. Welcome to a very special video, 666. The number of the beast, as Eddie would say, as Iron Maiden would say, up the irons uh, for my for my channel. So we're doing something special with here. So we've got we've got Eddie helping us out. We've got uh, we've got the Iron Maiden guys uh, helping us out. Uh, this video here. Uh, a very special video. It's not an unboxing video or anything like that. Something different we're going to try. Uh, we're trying this week. And if I get enough comments and likes and views, that's be, there has to be some views of this. You guys have to share the share the hell out of this. Uh, we might we might do more of these because it's uh, certainly a lot of fun that we had here doing this, and it's just fun that we have in the shop each week doing stuff like this. Well, what you're about ready to see. Uh, but first, I want to give a real special uh, shout out to uh, somebody that was through the shop here uh, this past Sunday. Uh, his name is Matthew. He came from Richmond, M. And you want to know what the other word, the letter or words for Richmond and M in Virginia is? Well, if you happen to see Mr. Randy Bly from Lamb of God. Uh, see him out and about, you see him in Richmond, or you just see him out and about at some concert or whatever, ask him about it. Tell him that uh, JC asked you. Tell him JC from Toledo, and Randy knows me. He'll tell you all about what, what the, how he describes Richmond, Virginia. But anyways, uh, I'd like to thank Matthew and his, his kind words for the shop, and he was just overblown uh, by what we have here and spent some uh, very, very good money Thank you, sir. I'm glad to have helped your collection grow, and uh, and thanks to your kind words and your pictures and and your promotion of the shop. I need more more people like you. But uh, this video here, I've got Thor here. Unfortunately, I do not have a number two, but I've got a couple of customers, Blaine and Quentin, uh, that they've. Uh, you know, when Thor 1 came out, they bought their copies. They were here afterwards and talking because my customers will stick around. They'll talk with each other and, and they'll get friendships going. They started reading from the inside of the book. They start reading the, the comic. And it was so humorous, I had to shoot some video of it. And then the second issue, they did the same thing. And then the third issue this past week, they did the same thing with a different spin on that. But... Decided to shoot that and decided to run that for my special 666 video. So, be sure to watch this video. Be sure to uh, uh, you know put your comments. Be kind because how many of you would have the balls to do what they do? And again, if they uh, we get enough likes and stuff like that, so we'll go ahead and do some stuff like that. Because I do stuff like that myself in the, in the shop here. Is uh, if somebody's uh, grade some comics. It's uh, a customer, you know, Brian. Or whoever, an old Silver Age comic, I'll start reading through it and they start just cracking up because you're gonna have fun with this stuff. You know, be you know, be true to what we're doing here. We're not uh, we're not causing we're not curing cancer, we're not uh, you know, we're not winning uh, Super Bowls, um, we're not screwing the country up with bad political decisions. Uh, we're selling funny books. But other than that, thanks for watching and enjoy the video. And 667 will be coming later today. It is the end of everything. Hello, Thor. Norin, my friend, what has happened to you? A tale for another time, perhaps. I think he's commenting on how he's black now and 
Or he's kind of like, I'm not so sure if I'm still okay with Nora and Rand. I prefer the Sarawak family. <laughs> Do you know? Good, excellent. Um, I'm gonna go with charcoal. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, that's fair. he's literally black. Yeah. A tale for another time, perhaps. We must act quickly. How much do you know of Galactus's birth? How he came to be what he is now? He was an explorer of the galaxy before ours. Galen of the planet Ta. <laughs> Some unknown cataclysm killed his universe, and he was the sole survivor. He was transformed into... No, not unknown. The Star Plague, the Blightstorm, the Rot Blizzard. Many names, but one truth. It is the one true end, the Black Winter. How do we stop it? We do not. The Black Winter has killed the universe before ours, Thor. As Galactus devours worlds, the winter comes for realities. He must feed. Wait, where would yeah, I, I think it's that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, Galactus yeah. is the only one who has ever survived the winter. Twice now. Once on, ta as a man. And now, weeks ago, he witnessed it and narrowly escaped its path before crashing to Asgard. He must be the one to Realize. face it again. But first, he Realize. must feed. In my time, as his herald, I gained knowledge of five very special planets. Worlds whose rare and unique energies would give Galactus powers beyond imagination. I have hidden these worlds from him for a very, very long time. Until now. He is our only chance. God! Galactus with more power? So, which one of us is taking him? I am. I will be his herald on this journey. I... But you will not go alone. Dun, dun, dun. Later. <laughs> I'm afraid your smithing days are over. Smiting. I'm afraid your smiting days are over. Umph. It's getting heavier then. <laughs> Mjolnir. The old king is gone. Hey, Thor. Nice shot. <laughs> and so, draped in war, flanked by a dozen heralds, a broken destroyer and stained by the ashes of his kingdom, the black reign of the Thunder King began. Galactus, kneel before Zark Thor! <laughs> I can feel you in my head, Galactus. Am I to assume you know of the plan of the truth? I, I do, do suffer. suffer. That, that you, you could shield from these things these from, from my, my mind. mind. I'm so confused in my brain. <laughs> that, that you, you yet conceal the locations of these, of these planets from me. I am... Impressed! <laughs> King Thor has graciously agreed to accompany us with his battalion to see the denizens of these planets to safety before you feed. Shall we begin? You can say that. No, you said that. Can I recommend it? Sure? You can. Yeah, it's an all case. Master. Black card! Black card. <laughs> <Avoided>. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I I do not understand. The, the frost, frost, the, the star, star plague. It is, is not, not a, a being. being. Each, Each galaxy, galaxy or entity, entity that gazes into, into it perceives it differently. 
just as I am perceived differently by each of you. The Black Winter, however, when you gaze into it, you see the form of your own true <laughs> I have gazed into it twice now. Once, when I was Galen, I watched my universe die before my eyes, and I saw nothing. I had not yet seen the cosmic wonders I know today, so it appeared to me as a great blackness, a void, as I could not fathom such things with my mortal mind. But then, then I saw it, it again. again. Do, Do you, you know what, what I saw then, Norin? What, what I saw as the embodiment of my one true death. death. I saw Thor! No! Rawr! Thor! Forstag, no! That power will kill you! I did, I did not, not happen, happen upon Asgard. Asgard. I, I did, did not come here for asylum. asylum. If you, you are to be my end thunder god, god <laughs> then we will kill the Black Winter together. And when we are done, I will have you close, so that I may have words with thee. Until then, rise. Herald of Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I like that. The end that was a good harmonizing that was on thunder. Good. That, that sounded nice. Yeah, I really like this thing here. Should name it. Should name it. Uh, Absolutely. Ridiculous. Okay. Okay. okay, here we so go. You, Thor, the devourer of king. Oh, wait. <laughs> the Devourer King! Oh, so you went from there to there. That's yes. awesome. Okay. Thor recently became the Allfather of Asgard, but he, he, but he barely had time to settle into his new role as king before a wounded Galactus crashed into the Golden Realm, which a terrible warning. What? Oh, with, oh, with. The, yeah. with a terrible warning. The Black Winter. Wait. The Black Winter. <laughs> the, the Star Plague. What'd you say? Yeah, the Star <laughs> Plague that destroyed Galactus. Galactus's original universe is now coming to destroy this universe. To prevent it from doing so, Galactus needs to consume five planets which are with rare and unique energies that will augment his power. Thor insisted on going with Galactus to see the denizens of these worlds to wait I know, it's of these part. worlds to safety first uh, so Galactus transformed Thor into his new herald wow the herald of thunder okay I the herald of Galactus. That was good. I am proud yes yeah. <laughs> so once again this is Done. part two of the power king. you did your part lightning and hunger <laughs> 
Yeah. It's a little weird. I'll just do it in the English voice, I guess. You just do it in English. Well, well, not the English voice, but you know what I mean. What will you do when the end comes? When your past and future cease to be. The entirety of who you are and who you will ever be becomes moot in the silent and different cold that falls across your universe. Will you scream prayers to your gods? Will you clasp your hands and hope that your noble defenders will arrive? You will. They all do. Just like the denizens of this particular universe. Your gods will arrive. A sun god, a god of emerald light, a god of dark, perhaps. <laughs> Cross company <and> rip off. <laughs> a god of the ocean, of speed, of strength. This universe, like so many before. So the Justice League. Mm -hmm, it's protected by leagues of gods. <laughs> You gotta see the visual. <laughs> Many of them as powerful as those you have always known and marveled at. <laughs> and all of them, <laughs> united, powered beyond imagination. I can imagine it. By the belief of the faithful. Will not be enough. For they too will look into the eyes of the Black Winter. And they will see the stone-faced avatar of their one true end. For them, Mary Sue the, the one who is. And there, staring at the encroaching, encroaching, encroaching dark, these mighty heroes will do what everyone before them has done. They will cry and scream and pray Hi. for their gods to save them. <laughs> Me. And then, as with everything, they will die. <laughs> Planet One. Clips, or Clyde, now, and yet a universe away, there is Thor, the god king of Asgard and thunder, the burning herald of Galactus, and to all of this the herald king says, I say thee nay! <laughs> this planet is inhabited, there, there is life here, we will move to the next world, the surfer gave me the coordinates to find five of these enchanted planets. Surely four will. No. I will need the power from all five worlds to survive the onslaught of the star plague. Though you may keep the coordinates locked away from me in your mind know that galactus is yet the only thing that stands between universal life and death hey and i stand hey. i said aiden i and i stand between you and this planet well, stop. <laughs> and you are weak, hungry. Would you like to see which of us would fall for? For reasons Thor does not yet know, Mjolnir has grown heavier by the day since he ascended the golden throne of Asgard. <laughs> And even now, with the power cosmic coursing through his god veins, mighty Thor has struggled to hold his mutinous mallet. I gave you the power you now wield, Thor. I can take it away. But here, amid the acidic winds of a doomed planet. You know nothing of the power I wield. Milner is a dragon on the wind. Ouchie. 
You dare strike Galactus? You exist solely by the grace I have given and the leash you tug against. Or have you forgotten whom you serve, little god? Nay, Asgard. I will tell you this once, Galactus. Though you have named me herald in title and power, I remain a king and a god, and I shall not suffer threats nor instruction. I shall not suffer instruction from you or from Umph. <laughs> and then there are those who have no gods, those who see a being of angelic light and a great black leviathan raging in their heavens and think not of salvation. Ah, uh, hell, <laughs> rightfully of ruin. Ah, Thor speaks as he always has with the all tongue, allowing to <laughs> allowing all to hear and understand the words he speaks. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? No, listen to me, you old and damned fools. I can't save you, no matter the place nor the peoples. Though for some there are words. Then there is war. If I have to kill you, and only ever room enough for one. And yet, through the swarming orbs of clips, Thor hears something that chills his bones. The chainsaw roar of Galactus's planet murder machine spiraling on. <laughs> And behind it, the death rattle of a world. The thunder rises and boils in the back of his throat. Galactus, no! And burns his worlds. Sif, 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 sif. Across the stars. Yes, my king. A bridge. Aye. Hey. <laughs> A moment passes, and then, across a chasm of forever, the shimmering path of Asgard explodes the shadows of Clips. This is the gateway of the gods, the lightning that hunts the blood sap of the world ash, and ye shall know it as Bifrost. Me, me, me. Oh, parables go sound. <laughs> the unshattered, the eternal unbroken, Hear this, devourer. The people of this planet are under my protection from this moment forward. And when they are free of this planet and safely among the people of Asgard, then and only then may you feed. Do you hear me? No one dies today. No one dies for you. And so, back in Asgard, a straight line, damn you! Hey, no! You put that man's arm back! <laughs> Any brilliant ideas, Senator? S this crowd is about to... Damn it! We need ale, or Asgard will burn! I help! I help! Thor! Thor! Thin, th Thor! Thin, cr thin crowd down to manageable size with teeth and... No, Thor! You know, you know the rules. I know kill ask <laughs> I know kill as gods, but as guardians, you don't kill as guardians. That includes guests as Volstag. <laughs> ah, Volstag, I've spoken to the council leaders of the people of Clips and explained their new circumstances. <laughs> I have promised them sanctuary here until such time as I can replenish their crops and the energy of their home world. <laughs> Whore? My lord, thou canst speak through thou ravens? Hogan and Manon and ravens never have been truly, ah, 
trust you'll look after this matter in my stead. <coughs> For Asgard! Ah, caca, 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 caca. <laughs> For Asgard, yes. But Thor, my king, the world tree, it's... It's... Oh, Thor. What are you doing out there? <laughs> <laughs> all right. And thus, as all things do, the planet Clips dies. Its energies collapsed and converted to feed and heal the only thing capable of saving everything from nothing. There are no screams, nor prayers to gods or heroes. Whatever heavens this planet had empty, whatever heavens this planet had are empty. For all the gods who knew them are here. This, this power, power need more. more! Galactus, enough. You'll kill us both. More! A god of lightning, of thunder. Damn you, Galactus! You must! And a god of destruction. <laughs> of genocide. A god of hunger. You... You didn't have to break it. I made those people a promise that they would return home one day. You didn't have to kill this world. It, it was necessary... necessary. As is this exterminate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then, there is another. One who speaks for all who have no gods to speak for them. <laughs> One who sees fallen angels and devils raging in the hollows of a dead world and thinks not of salvation. <gasps> oh, but rightfully of ruin and vengeance. Thor, I need to speak with your master. Please, brother, do not make me go through you. Dun, 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 dun. To be continued! <laughs> <laughs> Next issue, he is called Bill. Beta Ray Bill. Join us here in 30 days for the next next installment of Thor on Wednesdays at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore. Now located on Central McCord. That's right. Just right <laughs> off 475 and 23. Ladies and gentlemen, Thor. Thousands. I love that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Should I do it like that? Sure. I liked it. All right, this is a Gwen Stacy special. Gwen Stacy special, you guys are mixing it up. Like a shower, okay? Shower. Right. Long, long ago, a god of thunder waged war against an army of thousands. Alone, without sleep, without food, without falling. Uninterrupted for two entire years, armed only with his hammer and lightning in his wake. And why, you may ask, have you never heard of this mighty feat? <clears throat> it is because Thor has forgotten it. In fact, if he is reminded of the battle at all, the god of thunder could not tell you who the adversaries were or what the war was about, or even the name of the battle lands themselves. I'm getting country, sorry. <laughs> or in the mind of, see, mind, of an undying and ageless god. What is two years of raging war but a fraction of a second? A decade may be remembered as a minute, a hundred years, as an hour, if the hour be worthy. That is to say, it is impossible to know the true legends of Thor. Of the battles he has won, of the foes he has vanquished, 
of the countless bodies of the wicked that lie unburied in his name. Because for one such as the newly crowned king of Asgard, in time they will all be forgotten, lost in the ocean of his immortal mind. Now, however, <laughs> Thor, please, brother, do not make me go through this. This battle in the ruins of a dead planet, as the black winter falls across our galaxy. I am so sorry, Bill. <laughs> through is the only way. This battle he will remember for all the days to come. I know it's not you, brother, and I will have my vengeance on Galactus for corrupting your honor. <laughs> <laughs> He has taken my people's home. He shall not take you as well. Until then, know that I shall not yield until you are moved, or I, I know it. Is that a have at? Doom! The broken pieces of the planet cliffs Explode on its small uninhabited moon with the power of a thousand suns? Hurricanes of fire and sand turn glass whirl in the sky? Tidal waves of stone and ash break ceaselessly against its barren and bleeding flesh? Oh, it's so scandalous. <laughs> and there, cacophonous, <laughs> above the reigning desolation of a world, the god of the fatherless rises to the sound of thunder. Brother, stay down. I possess the power of a herald of Galactus, as well as the powers befit of the all-father of Asgard. All added to my own. You gotta guard that ass. <laughs> In the past, uh, you and I have fought and been equal. This will not be that. Go now, please. Do not make me... I am going nowhere until I free you of this madness. Very well. Do you see? I am still me, brother. I've chosen this path. I am slave to no one. No! What was this guy? No! no. Ugh. <laughs> you, you think, think yourself, yourself above my control, control little, little god? god? The this power, power cosmic is, is mine alone to wield. And you, you are, are my herald. herald. I gave you your power. You belong to... Nay, I took your power. You take nothing from me. <laughs> I have agreed to help you, and I will honor my word. But be mindful, your tongue, if you wish to... Your word? Traitor! Boom! <clears throat> you tell me you chose this? In your right mind, you chose to aid this monster? Look me in my eyes and answer me this, brother. How can you still lift that hammer? Let me show you. Ah! I see you have forsaken your Asgardian armor. You came dressed for the fight. Do not act surprised when you find it. I would not... Dishonor Odin by battling his son in his kingdom's colors. Asgard is mine now. His kingdom. Oh wait. Oh, well. his kingdom. Oh, gosh. Asgard is mine now. I and at least one of us still remembers what it stands for. You think this is easy for me? The black winter is spreading. <laughs> It is coming for everything, as it came for the universe before us. I will not allow it. <clears throat> and if 
if that means aligning myself with this devil, then so be it. I will not be judged by you. And if it means death for another planet, what then? How much death will you allow on your crown? You are king now. You don't have to do this, you arrogant fool. You have an army. You can't have sent the whole of Asgard. You could have come to me. I do this because I am king. Because I am still far. Thwap. Oomph. Bill, let it go. I will take your arm with it if I must. But there is no power in the universe strong enough to stop my hammer once called to my hand. Gregor, gurgling, gurg. And yet. Let it go. It will kill you. Never. You do not deserve it. You are not worthy. Fine. I use another. Stormbreaker, no! <laughs> ah! I told you. I warned you. Do you believe me now? Will you relent? Will you yield? Please, brother. I am not your brother. <clears throat> Damn you. Bruh! Who would dare? I have watched more than enough. If you wish to continue this insanity, then I am truly sorry, Thor. Through is the only way. Like, no way. No way. No way. No way. Way. <laughs> no way. Way. Um, no way. Totally way. Uh, not even way. <laughs> totally way. Not even. That was, uh, and this concludes JC's Playhouse. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite one, I think. Same here. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Same that was, here. That was pretty good. Maybe next time we will do the country. Let's <laughs> 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 so have different themes every time. Yes. <laughs> I've got a lot of pockets, which is the one I want. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Keep forgetting this one has inner pockets too. <laughs> Got inner pockets, outer pockets, time and space pockets, hot pockets. Mm. Hot pockets. Okay, I know it's like not yum. how like oh, I know it's like Red Robin, but yes. for some reason I always remember the hot pocket commercial <laughs> with yum. Yeah. <laughs> I just like using yum after a lot of different things. <laughs> I always say like it's, for some reason I remember it, even though I know it's not true. I always, yeah, exactly. It just it makes sense. I think that they should combine themselves together. There should be like a Red Robin hot pocket. Exactly. You know, it's not, uh, maze burger or whatever they call their thing with like onion rings stuffed in oh, there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you cook it up, and you go, Hot Pocket! Yum! Yum. <laughs> I want my Hot Pocket, Hot Pocket, Hot Pocket. I want my Hot Pocket, Hot Pocket, Hot Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Red Robin's Hot Pocket Burgers. I feel like that would be actually pretty good. With onion and rings. Yum! <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, so let's just slam every possible <laughs> catchphrase to a... <laughs> A food chain together that we can. Let's see. That'd be a good one. Like there's the Have It Your Way. Uh, and, ba, ba, and McDonald's, ba, ba, I'm loving it. Have It Your Way. Oh, yeah, well, that, yeah, you just did do that because that is the McDonald's with the Burger King. Yeah. Ba, da, ba, 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 have It Your Way. Ba, ba, Yum. Ba, ba. <laughs> yeah, well, ba, 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 ba. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, and oh. barbecue sauce. Ba, 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 ba. No one out pieces the hut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's this will take you back further then. Ba, da, da, ba, ba. Avoid the noid. Set. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Domino's pizza thing. Oh. Yeah. 80s, baby. The 80s. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can still advertise to children, so you know. Awesome.
<laughs> Everything is awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. I had best head out and see me, Peppy. Be careful out there. Is that our serving? Okay. And you as well. Godspeed, young man. Godspeed. Hey. Yeah. Starts snowing here pretty yeah. soon. Maybe, huh? Yeah, I think actually. You can you can speed some guide yourself there, Brian. All right, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. You yeah. too. You too. Is that still recording? Did he right. finish the recording? Yeah, I think it's still going. <laughs> he, he wandered off. Well, uh. All right, see you later, Jim. Have a good one. Thanks. You too. Thank you. See you, Brian. Take it easy, Billy. Have a good one, JC. All right. Have a good one, Brian. Take you even too. Yeah, yeah, you just, I forgot it was supposed to start snowing pretty bad here pretty soon, didn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to get pretty shitty. So. Wow, what time was it? It was supposed to originally start at 5, wasn't it? Yeah, I heard it's going to start around 8 o'clock. Yeah, so. supposed yeah, to get 12 so. inches. Huh. Yeah.